So Jay and I, we started Deep Source in December 2018. Both of us had been software developers. We had been working on open source projects and startups. And we started the company to build a better static analysis platform for developers and engineering teams. How the last decade was focused on correctness of writing code by implementing tests and things like that. We believe the next decade is going to be correctness plus quality of code. We have been able to assemble a team of people who deeply care about building developer tools and building tools that help people write better code every day. I think collaboration really drives the work culture at Deep Source. Uh, being in this environment that really fosters creativity and openness allows you to tackle problems that are both big and small with uh, relative confidence. At Deep Source, it's always been about genuinely helping developers, and that reflects in our culture, in our team, and it reflects in like everything we do. Like we want to make sure that we're making it a place where they're challenged by their work and they're excited by it, and you know, like have a lot of time for their personal side projects and things like that as well. You know, this is I think uh, unwritten philosophy of sorts at Deep Source and. You know, it reflects at the kind of people I'm working with and, you know, the quality of people, the kind of knowledge they have is that, uh, you know, you just gather around, huddle around a bunch of very creative, talented people and uh, give them the means and the freedom to do good work. Right in the end, whatever they present to the world or present to you is always going to be excellent. You're not really bound to a team. Uh, if a problem looks interesting enough or you have a cool idea, well, you just take ownership of it and do it. As, as a person whose career was built on mentorship, I consider it as a good primer for collaboration. And at Deep Source, I really like that mentor relationship because they listen to you more than they want to give you an input. So that helps a lot. One of the strengths of the month is the Hack Week where we just build what we want to see in Deep Source, no questions asked. So at the start of the sprint, uh, everyone huddles up on a Zoom call. We just say what we are planning to build. Uh, for the rest of the week, execute it, take it to completion, if not just roll over to the next hack week. Most people in the team right now did not have a background in static analysis. The folks who did not have that background are the people who have contributed immensely to the product simply because of their unique perspectives and, you know, what their ideas and, you know, things that uh, they would have wished to see as a developer themselves. If you are even a small individual developer, the first thing you do after you create your project or initiate a repository is set up CI, right? Static analysis was, was looked more like you know, a checklist as part of your compliance, not really something which you use on a day-by-day -day basis. And that is changing. Like, you know, nowadays people care about quality and large enterprises are shifting towards caring about quality of code and security of code and how can we do all of this before even the code is released to production. I think to be successful at Deep Source or for us to be successful as a company, we have to make our users successful. Developers who use Deep Source every day to write good code, organizations who rely on Deep Source to systemize their code quality and security. For us to be successful, we have to make them successful. So as someone who's working at Deep Source, you need to keep the user at the center of everything that we do every day. If you look at it, at least in the last few years, what we have started seeing is, engineering teams and engineering organizations have started investing more in improving developer productivity. And, and like, you know, as being a part of Deep Source, like, you know, you, you get to build tools in the end a developer like you would be using in another company.